Carlos will, and this is the way to buy the track maker. Just hunting, looking for options, fishing for the possible bubbles. Let's have a photo though. Now oh, we're gonna fly! We're looking for over and get forward here as Canyon can't get the steal, but it does go gold and it is a nice knockup, but it doesn't land on the showmaker. Now Canyon is escaping off to the back line. Goes not very low. PK maker under three. Canyon comes back around again. As nucleus untouched. A lot of low health bars. Killer instinct has been used already. But look at this nuclear. If he can get to a good position, this can work. Face breaker is going to happen as the double kill comes forward. Triple kill make it as nuclear is looking for more. Leo off on the backside as Summit has just given up and they lose the Drake. Cloud point. Sorry, Cloud Soul point is now on for Sandbox. And they lose massively at the end of that one. And so they end up getting the Cloud Dragon, which is going to bring the game to soul point. But, as you did say... Well, it's not actually that massive. I thought that there was uh, less that uh, died there at the end. No, I mean, it did pick up a lot of the gold. Let's just take a look at the showmaker against the Proto Melt Active, the and the W. The Orn Ultimate comes out. Now, I thought he was going to shoot that right into Hoyt and Nuclear, but he went for Showmaker, managed to miss, and... Superplex into his teammate Summit a little bit late on the stopwatch right there. Leo, feeling like he can't enter a deep fight. Zoe in the north, doesn't have the class available, being extremely cautious. No one steps onto the bubble cover. Leo comes back into the deep fight, clears out that blue trinket from behind. Duggery, though, with the haymaker hitting so many people. As Zoe missed the bubble trouble, Summit not able to just do enough as Nuclear is the one that gets a triple kill. As we have a replay, I guess, this happened while we were in the twilight zone. Uh, this was what happened, yeah, just now. Uh, Nogri trying to turn something onto these guys. And, uh, he does. What he could have assumed by what was happening just there. Nuclear's completed item number three. Now just two. Now done. I don't know whether he can keep four people off his turret. Not with just Hoyt and Canyon in the area. Nogri did just respawn. So, Nogri's team fighting has actually been pretty good. Unfortunately, the laning phase is just not necessarily working. Obsidian Cleaver done yep. for Summit as well. As himself is frozen Malice now building towards Guardian Angel. Nara is going to be the big boy. Nara is definitely going to be big. Trinity Fusion also upgraded for Leo. And I'm not sure where Dove is going with his build. It was so good up until the second Ruby Crystal. Nah, he's getting these, Oh, it might uh, be Warmog. But the way that these team fights conduct themselves, Orn never just leaves and randomly comes back, which is a bit surprising. I think just getting double knight vow would be so valuable for them, or even just picking up Locket of the Iron Solari. Guardian Angel now picked up by Nar. Yeah, but what item Rumble's gonna get. I'm actually a little surprised he doesn't just get redemption. A missile mask would be pretty good, but I, I assume it's going to be adapted at home. And Zonkly looks down the pillar. There's the old one on the three. Now Nuclear, not going to get knocked up. Not sure where that was going, though. That was a weird position. Oh, now, Summit! Come back with his team. Yeah, Summit on the backside. As the Meganar is now the Superplex into the backline Nuclear with the follow-up, but immediately just runs out. He just knew that Nuggery was dead, I guess. Didn't want to take that fight. I thought potentially there was an opportunity, but decided not to go for it. There's a minute and a half left on the Drake. Sandbox. We'll just push up this mid lane. Very suspect. And at this point, looks like Sandbox is going to raise the mid tier 2 turret. Gold lane is virtually irrelevant right now, though. I mean, we have Cloud Soul coming up in one minute. No more real Orn items on the horizon for anyone on the side of Sandbox. Yeah, expecting either a locket or a redemption out of Gorilla, I guess. Uh, just come in next, and we'll see where on the side of the build. As we have a look, this is a very weird situation. Yeah, you can see that Summit is looking for a multi-man ultimate. Nagari goes into the Superflex and is kind of a reliable target. And then Dove, able to maybe something that no one can really enter. Yeah, but Nuclear did just ran away from everything. So I just want to know what the comms were. Whether they were calling for a disengage and Nogri was just sacrificing himself for the rest of the team. He looks like he's building towards 
The Gargoyles Stone Plate as item number three. See whether that can turn the tides. Stone Plate walking over a war. That is a very clever war. Yeah. Someone here, Showmaker Will. Will into the fog of war. Nuclear is spotted. Now Canyon. You know he probably feels tested. Well, Leroy, this is not great. He gets in there and it's somehow the Rakan then steals it away with the smite that he picked up with his spellbook, but in comes the Ram. And once again, the Ram delivered into the wardrobe straight to Narnia. As uh, Summit is going to get tagged by the Trouble Bubble, but they lose the Cloud Soul opportunity and someone buy themselves some time. Well, that's going to be the real class out of Showmaker! Oh no, can't even get the Q over. Just waiting for the cooldown with Canyon, just didn't quite have enough time. Jungle is dead, Baron being pinged. Big opportunity now for Sandbox to really extend this lead. Bubble. Conflict's not the target that they want to get popped by the Zoe. No. Zoe doesn't have a flash. Point doesn't have spike. They are fish in a barrel when it comes to Showmaker right now. Robbery will just make his way in as Summit. Gonna take a lot of damage, Haymaker. Not actually working on Summit too badly here, to be honest. Summit finds a boulder. Robbery wants to try and get the ulti, but doesn't find an opportunity. Has to go golden very prematurely and uses the ult in order to get out. Decent Haymaker shield, though, keeps him alive at the moment, and Nuclear is going to be able to lock down the jungler. Now Showmaker off to the side and able to run those shenanigans. We've been talking about oh so much about Zoe in this mid to late game. Yeah. Canyon almost able to arrive. I think Damwon now are going to be the ones that start up the Baron. They have teleport on Targary. And so this is a game that is looking like it might be stolen away. Teleport coming in from Summit. His ultimate is available. Yeah, but his Navar is absolutely nowhere to be seen. We do have Smite picked up by Showmaker, they've got double Smite in this pit, and Summit trying to get on over. They lock down the Baron, but what can Sandbox do? They've already gotten rid of the Zoe, it's now Nuclear. He's trying to run the hell out of this fight. They need to keep some of these Barons alive as the Nar into the wall. Oh no! They could have just and interrupted Summit. his ultimate. What? Yeah, disaster. They could have just let Summit die, or not, not Summit, yeah, Nuggery. But instead, I think they're all dead. And then they turn back in. And that's going to be the ace. What? And now Sandbox will be able to break over the base as well. Could this just be the end of the game at 32 minutes in? So, this is sort of... This is so weird. Yeah, that was a mixed call. Because you could see that Nuclear and Hoyt were thinking, they were we thinking, gotta get out of there. Get, get out of and here. obviously Nuclear and was like, no, no, we can fight. You've seen enough horror movies, Atlas, to know... Yeah. That when the noise is coming from the basement, you don't go and check it out. That is absolutely correct. And uh, you know what happened? They went and checked. And they they went found and checked. a dead nexus. As, uh, yep, Dub is going to miss another ultimate, but honestly, it does not matter.